Hello, my name is Shelly Thomas. I'm a senior at the college and I'm currently standing in front of Wadsworth House, the second oldest building on Harvard's campus. It was built in 1726 for the eighth president of Harvard College, Benjamin Wadsworth. And during, it was actually temporarily used for the Continental Army by General George Washington. And after that, all of the Harvard presidents stayed there until about 1849 when Jerry Sparks decided to stay in his own residence. And after it stopped being the house of the president, it started housing student boarders like Ralph Waldo Emerson. However, in addition to having presidents and philosophers and all these wonderful people stay at this house, it also has a lot more history, a lot more history in it than we actually get recognize. For example, Reverend Wadsworth actually owned at least two slaves, one named Venus and another named Titus. In his diary, he talks about bringing his new Negro wench to his new home in Cambridge, which he paid. Apparently, he was able to purchase her on credit, and we can assume that they possibly bought her as possibly a house servant or something of the sort. He never actually talks about her name, but you can find out that her name was Venus through baptismal records at a nearby church. And in addition to Venus, he also owned a mulatto named Titus, who also lived in this house with him. The interesting thing, interesting thing about Titus is the faculty even mentions him. After President Wadsworth passed away, they forbid Titus from coming on campus and forbid him from being anywhere within the college gates. And from with, they also forbid any students from associating with him. And he's just another slave that lived in the Wadsworth house. Although President Wadsworth is the most concrete example of slaves living on Harvard's campus, he was not the only Harvard president to own slaves. Between about 1685 and 1769, out of the four Harvard presidents that we had during that time, at least three of those presidents owned slaves. So before President Wadsworth was President Increase Mather, we know that he owned slaves because at the end of his last will and um, testament, he manumits his slave named Spaniard. In addition to President Mather, after President Wadsworth was President Edward Holyoke. Now, Edward Holyoke, and we all know of the Holyoke Center, owned at least one, one slave named Juba. We know that because his, both of his sons referred to their slave named Juba in their diaries. And because President Holyoke was the president of Harvard College after President Wadsworth and all of the presidents until Jerry Sparks lived in Wadsworth House, we can therefore say that President Holyoke lived in Wadsworth House along with his slave named Juba. So that is an example of just three slaves that we know lived in this house right here, which is something that we don't hear during the tours when they go around talking about George Washington and Ralph Waldo Emerson. We also need to recognize that Venus and Titus and Juba also lived and worked in this house, which is something that we can put up a plaque or we can insert it into the wonderful tours that we give on this campus, campus because they are as much a part of Harvard's history as Ralph Waldo Emerson himself.